Hey, welcome back to the scene of the crime here in Buffalo, New York, just a few years later for part two of How to Play the Spoons. Now, if you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend you start there. We learned how to grip the spoons and keep them in place. We learned uh, a wonderful rhythm that can be kind of the foundation for a lot of your spoon playing. And we also learned a little trick, which was stiffening the fingers and scraping the spoons down across them. If you haven't done part one, there's a link in the description and I really suggest that you start there. If you're ready for more, I'm gonna teach you five more things today that you can do with your spoons. So the first thing is uh, where we left off. We had our, our fingers stiff here on our, uh, on our opposing hand and we learned that just by scraping the spoons down across those fingers, we get this magical little sound. Scraping them down and landing on the leg, right? So, where we left off was we were going like this. Two, three, four, scrape, two, three, four. We're gonna take that a step or two further uh, for my first of five things I'm gonna show you. What we're gonna do is we're going to alternate the scrape and the basic rhythm that we learned. So all I'm doing there is I'm combining those two things. I'm combining the basic rhythm that we learned in part one with the scrape. And once you get comfortable enough with those two things, you can start to mix them up in, in ways that make it your own, right? I'm just kind of making things up here in terms of, do I scrape once, do I scrape three times? Right? All right, so that's fun, and I would encourage you, and you can just stop the video right here and work on that for a little while. I'm gonna give you five things today. That's the first of them. Um, but feel free to just sort of take this one little piece at a time, pause the video, work on that for a while, and keep it in your tool belt, and just keep practicing it a couple minutes a day, and you'll become comfortable with it before you know it. Um, okay, so number two. You might notice that, I'm sure you notice that as you're playing the spoons, your other hand, is hovering above your leg, right? Well, does that have to be a hand? Probably not. All we need here is something for the spoons to hit up against. So why not an elbow, right? Why not a finger? Now it sounds the same, but it adds a real visual flair to what you're doing because all of a sudden what you're doing looks a lot fancier than just having your hand here. Right? Now we have an elbow here. Now we're alternating fingers. Right? You could even use your nose. I don't recommend it, but <laughs> feel free. Have at it. Anything can serve as sort of the... Uh, the second surface, your, your leg being the first surface that you're going to hit down. When you come up, it doesn't have to be your hand. So pause the video, give that a try for a little bit. See if you can keep that same rhythm going and then try it with each individual finger. Right? All right. Number three, um, you don't need to be hitting the spoons down on your leg. There are other things you can hit the spoons down on, right? You could hit them down on your fingers. And again, not the kind of thing you want to do for too long because it's not the most musical, but it's wonderful to throw in after you've been kind of keeping that rhythm. Right? So we're just working it into the mix and again it adds a little visual excitement to what you're doing. So hitting down on your fingers. Hitting on your cheek. You can even hit them on your head. I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> but if you have some forgiving spoons, that can work too. So hitting the spoons on something other than your leg is kind of technique three that I wanted to show you today. Number four is another way to uh, kind of diversify where you're hitting the spoons down. Instead of keeping them in one place on the leg, how about stretching your leg out? You can't really see this. Okay, there it is. If you're sitting down while you're playing the spoons, right, you can, you can walk them 
all the way out to your foot, basically. All right, so that's technique number four, and I'm gonna show you one more, and I've had a ton of fun with this one and gotten a lot of mileage out of it over the years, is uh, similar to scraping down on our fingers, like that, we can scrape down, if you have a long sleeve shirt on, which I always try to do when I'm gonna be playing the spoons, um, you can get that same sort of sound, because if you notice, when you have a long sleeve on, there are ripples in the sleeve that are kinda like the ripples as you go across your fingers. So you can do the same thing. Start at your shoulder. Now if you do it slow, you don't always get as many ripples. But if you do it quickly, right? So that takes a little bit of getting used to because you're basically quickly moving them from your shoulder. If you move them off your shoulder too quickly, you don't get much. But if you try to scrape them down the side of your arm, even to the lower arm, and then hit the hand, or excuse me, then hit the leg to finish up, right? So, <laughs> so that's a whole lot of fun. To wrap up here, I'm just going to try to throw in a whole bunch of this stuff together and we'll see what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, well, have a great time playing with the spoons. As always, let me know in the comments how it's going for you, uh, where you're struggling, and uh, if need be, I'm, be, I'm glad to make a third video and we can, we can address some of those issues. But uh, otherwise, let me know your great successes, and um, I hope to hear from you. Thanks.